In Synchro Pro, the 3D object properties are brought in automatically as user fields. They can be managed from the user fields section in the Navigator tab. In addition, the specific values for any object can be viewed by simply selecting the object and going to the 3D properties tab, user fields. User fields are used to match 3D resources or groups of 3D resources to the corresponding tasks in a schedule. You can also create and assign new user fields within Synchro Pro. Let's create a new user field called Work Package. Synchro allows us to specify the category of the new user field. It could be a task, resource, or 3D user field. Let's select resource. Similarly for the type, you can choose between integer, number, string, start date, boolean, and finish date. Let's choose integer. You can assign user field values to groups of 3D objects directly from the 3D view. Simply select the group of 3D objects and add the value. Let's use this method to assign the work package value to the rest of the resources on the project. Now that the user fields are assigned, we can review the value for any object in the model by simply clicking on that object and looking at the user field tab. You can also use the Resources tab for a more data-driven method of assigning your user field values. Let's add a new resource user field called Construction Code. This time, we'll set the user field type as String. Now we can go to the Resources tab and customize the columns to show our two newly created user fields. Now we can assign the user fields by simply typing in the value next to the name of each resource. Let's type EQ for equipment and then CR for concrete. You can drag and drop the bottom corner of a cell to assign the same value to a set of consecutive resources. In addition, you can copy to Excel and paste from Excel to automatically assign a large number of user field values. You can click on the arrow next to any column to set filters, sort, or justify. Let's set a custom filter. For example, let's set the value to be greater than or equal to 2. This will allow us to only focus on work packages 3 and 2. The third method is to use filters to assign user field values. Let's create a new 3D set from the Navigator tab. We can filter the 3D objects by name, by task filters, by resources, by company, by 3D entities, or by user fields. Let's choose user fields. For example, let's specify that we want the work package value to be greater than 2. Now you can either activate the filter and assign the user field value from the 3D view, or, without activating the filter, right-click, select Filter 3D Objects, and then assign the user field. 